Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie, and today I have another $2 outlet thrift haul, all of which is to resell on online platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, but in my case, mainly my Instagram, Curated by Natalie. So basically, I'll go through each piece, show off why I picked it up, whether it's a style based pickup, a brand to be on the lookout for, or just a really unique vintage gem. Anyway, let's get started. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure that you're subscribed as well as have liked this video. One of the first areas I always check out in a thrift store is the shoe area or the shoe bin, whatever it is. And these are some Dansko booties. These are definitely a brand to be on the lookout for, a bolo. So these are Dansko Maryland booties. They are super popular and comfortable. They retail at $150. I'm hoping to get about half that. Um, because these are like new, they are size 38. They have no signs of wear. They don't look like anyone's foot was in them. So really excited about this. Then y'all know I love cowboy boots. So I was super stoked to have found this really cool pair of cowboy boots that has little heart detailing and silver toes. These are a size 10. They are genuine leather. They don't have a brand or identifying feature on them as to what the brand could be, but a super cool cowboy boot. I'm so into them and Western wear is in fashion everywhere this year. I live in Texas, so it's never gonna go out of fashion here, but Everyone is into cowboy boots again this season, so definitely a look to be on the lookout for. This was a DIY based pickup. A little vintage Dooney and Burke bucket bag. The reason I say DIY is because it's not in perfect condition. So here's the thing. There's not really any stains or anything on it, but the leather is just hard. So I've put my Doc Martin Wonder Balsam on it, hoping I could condition the leather and just make it softer, but it doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to need to think up some other ways to revive this piece because it's just stiff and now it's sticky because I have the Wonder Balsam on it, but I don't really know what to do about it because it's such a cute bag. Like, look at the little stars on it. I don't know. So I have to do a little research on this one, but at around $2, it's not really a risky pickup. And I'm interested to see if I can revive it. This is a super cool style-based pickup, but also they tend to be selling for quite a bit. These are vintage Tommy Hilfiger leather sandals. They're Genuine leather, they are like new, they're a size nine, just a great pickup. I do need to get these listed ASAP because styles change and also the weather is changing. So, you know, these are sandals and it's September, so gotta get these posted, but so cute, such a gem, great piece. The last shoe pickup is these Steve Madden cowboy boots. Now these are like new, like the bottom doesn't look like they were worn. They don't have any scratching on the toe, but here's the thing. They're kind of peeling on the inside. So we think somebody had these and they just never wore them. So the leather started to dry out. Kind of similar to the Dooney and Burke bag. I'm gonna try to figure out if there's a way to revive these because at $2 a piece, it's kind of a good deal to figure out if this is a thing that I could pick up if it was priced higher. So I'm gonna see if I could either do leather paint if my Wonder Balsam will revive these, I don't really think that's the case because there's like true cracking in there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a DIY project, so keep you posted on that. But otherwise, a really cute boot. These are a size 9 and they actually fit me. So if worse comes to worse, I guess I could just keep them and nobody will ever know that they're cracked on the inside. And now for the clothing section of the haul we have vintage y'all know i love vintage this is a really cool vintage denim pullover this is the brand results you can see the branding all over the piece this is what the tag looks like so this piece in particular was going at around 90 dollars on ebay and depop it's a really cool 
pullover. It's got a cinch bottom, a cinch hood, and a little corner zip. I just think it's a really fun piece and I am excited to get it posted. It is a size small. I do believe it's a men's size small, so it'll fit a little bit larger on a woman, but I do think it's supposed to have that oversized fit, so I think that's cool. Then we have these two cutie coordinating sweaters. So the first one is this beautiful key lime green with little clovers on it. So perfect for St. Patrick's Day. This is the brand Raywear. And then we have this next one that's more of a patchwork. So cool. Also the brand Raywear. Both are a size medium and both are just so perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Now for comparison pricing on these, I am hoping to get around $50. Here's why. So some pieces were priced at $35, some were priced at $75, and it really just depended how unique the piece was. So more basic boring, lots of pieces listed were at $35. The really cool one of a kind, more unique pieces were at $75. These don't have any other ones listed, so I definitely could shoot for that higher margin, um, but I anticipate I'll hopefully get around 50 for each sweater or maybe do some kind of bundle deal where it's a little less if you buy both. But a really cool piece, super excited, kind of thought about holding off on listing until closer to St. Patrick's Day, but I think I'll go ahead and get them posted and I can always relist again closer to the holiday. Really cool piece. I love picking up novelty sweaters because they can bring a lot more, especially if they're really unique. Then this is just a bread and butter brand for me. This is Torrid. Torrid sells really quick for me, typically in two weeks. And it's kind of like American Eagle. You know, it doesn't sell for a lot, but it always moves. So this is what Torrid looks like if you don't know. It's a plus size brand, so their sizing is a little different. This is a size two. I'll, of course, look up what a size two equates to so I can let people know. It's got super cute little buttons here, little ruffles. It's just this fun boho duster dress. You could totally wear it with a slip. You could wear it with some jeans. Just fun. Lots of ways to style it. And I feel like it's very fall in the coloring. Could totally be worn to a pumpkin patch. I love vintage too. This is vintage redhead flannel lined denim. These are redhead for her. So it's actually specifically for women, which is great because it'll offer a better fit than men's fit denim. So I love picking up flannel lined. Um, it typically tends to sell quick and sell for a little bit more than regular denim. So I would definitely be on the lookout for that, especially if it's vintage, um, because it's just a little bit more unique. Y'all know I love Bill Nuts. Bill Loss. This is what the tag looks like if you don't know. It's just a really cute little denim mini dress. I love the quarter buttons and little pockets at the chest. Such a fun dress. Super classy. I always pick up Bill. And you know, it's not like a crazy brand that'll bring a ton of money, but it's just like my favorite vintage brand, so I can never resist picking it up. This is just a fun, unique pickup. I kept trying to almost put it back. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I just thought it was so cool. And just, <laughs> it's all covered in faux pearls. Super fun. It's this brand here, Marie Collection. It didn't have crazy comparison pricing, but it wasn't bad. And this piece has every single pearl. It's in great condition and it's just really fun. So I had to get it. I like literally could not resist it. So here I am with this cool sweater. This is a size medium, by the way, but really cool, really into it. Then this piece needs a little TLC, but I think it'll be worth it. It's a vintage sailor costume. And I think it's so Taylor Swift. So cool, like just the collar on it. It's got little pockets here at the front. It just looks so sweet. The buttons here at the front too. It's a size small, so it's definitely tiny because it's a vintage small, but it does have a couple of, you know, like vintage water stains kind of thing. I think some OxyClean will totally help it out, but just like you can see it here, 
just a little bit of discoloration. So I'm hoping to kind of soak it in some OxyClean and get it up to that nice crisp white and then sell it for Halloween, but a really cool piece. I think that's so fun that it's like a true vintage sailor costume. It'll look so cute. Oh, then we have this super fun Karma Highway off the shoulder bell sleeve top. It's sized as free size, but we all know that that's like more of just anything below maybe an LXL, but also not too small either because it doesn't look that tiny either. So I don't know. I feel like it's kind of frustrating when places do free sizing, but it does have adjustability in the back. So I'll definitely take measurements and kind of figure out what size it best fits, but it's such a cute top. I couldn't resist it. I love this kind of boho look. I know I pick up a lot of dresses that look like that and they tend to go super quick. This is a linen pickup. Y'all know I love linen and I couldn't resist this super closet staple of a piece tan dress. This is 100% linen. It's the brand Ola Popkin. I've never heard of it, but I think it'll do well seeing that it's 100% linen. It's a plus size piece and it's just a nice neutral closet staple. So really great piece. Linen is expensive new if you don't know. So be on the lookout for it at thrift stores, especially brands like Flax. Those ones will bring a lot and they will sell really well. So I'm gonna try out this piece and see how it does. This is a Bolo brand, AKA a brand to be on the lookout for. This is Barefoot Dreams. Barefoot Dreams is a comfort brand. They sell, you know, robes, sweaters, things that are just meant to be exceptionally soft and they make them softer. So this is just a fun hooded cardigan. It's my second time finding Barefoot Dreams. Pieces tend to resell at around 50 to 75 depending on the piece and the condition. This one does have a small flaw and it's down here on the back. There's a small hole. It's super tiny, really not noticeable, but I will have to account for it in price or just accept an offer but it's a size 1X, great piece to be on the lookout for because they're just so cozy and they retail at like 150, so great piece to buy used. Back to vintage, this is a kugi esque sweater. It's just a vintage sweater with some cool wavy stitching. I love this look, I love vintage sweaters. They're just more quality than sweaters today. This is a size large. Definitely a men's large, but vintage, so a little bit smaller on sizing, especially because it's mainly cotton, so it likely shrunk a little bit in the olden days. <laughs> Another vintage piece, this super cool jungle maxi. I don't know, I just have this thing with picking up jungle pieces. They're like my favorite piece to find. This is a size 10 petite, but it's definitely smaller than a 10 petite. I feel like it's more like a modern six just from eyeing it, but such a cool print. I mean, come on. It's got these cool slits here. Oh, it just reminds me of this dress I found like three months ago, but it was purple and blue. And this one's orange and black and red and just oh it's so cool it's like a similar vibe but different uh i i just love that style so you know i get excited over that this is a fun pickup so quilted stuff is really in like the fire resellers know they pick up quilts all the time and they pick up quilted jackets so i saw this and i was like oh my gosh i need it it's this quilted pullover it's just so cool so you can see the little cross quilting. I don't know all the quilt terms, but it's just such a cool jacket. Like, oh, so this is the brand Soulmates. I've never really heard of it. Um, I honestly just picked it up based on the style. I think it's super fun. The buttons are even like pieces of, you know, quilt fabric. They're not like real buttons. It's just a fun, unique piece. And I think that it'll do well just because it's super cool. So we're going to see how it does. It doesn't have a size on it, so I feel like it's probably kind of like a free size, just like fitting below an L or XL kind of thing, but a really cool, unique piece. 
that's what thrifting is all about. This is more of a brand based piece. I actually picked it up at first just because of the style. It's a really classic pullover quarter zip cropped sweater, but it's this brand Sincerely Jewels. And I was looking at Poshmark in the sold area and it sells a lot, not for anything crazy, but it's a brand I think people tend to look up. I'd never heard of it before, but I don't know, be on the lookout for it because some of their sweaters were going for $60. Um, most were going at like 25 to 30, which is what I'll probably get for this. But some of the cardigans that are like thicker, 60 bucks. So definitely be on the lookout for the brand Sincerely Jewels. This is just a funky piece. I honestly am a little confused how it works. It's got a Chinese label, so I don't really think I can look it up and there's no size, but it's basically an overall skirt dress thing, but it's corduroy and it's got these little polka dots on it and it's so freaking cute. So I got to figure out a little bit about comparison pricing on it and stuff, but I think it's, you know, like a high-waisted skirt and it's got overall straps and yeah, you wear it like that. So I don't know quite how I'll work it, but it's a cool piece. I couldn't really pass it up because it's polka dot and overalls and corduroy. That's like three of my favorite things. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. <laughs> and then I picked up Ralph Lauren, which I tend to not pick up because it's usually like Lauren Ralph Lauren or some other one that's just sold at Macy's, which isn't bad. Like they can still bring a decent amount, but they just tend to be oversaturated. This though was Ralph Lauren blue label and it's hundred percent wool. And I think that these will do better than your typical like Lauren Ralph Lauren, which typically sells for like 20. I think these will sell for 50 to hundred. So these are hundred percent wool and the tailored look is really in so that kind of suit style is in and these are definitely like a cool suit vibe pants they're a size eight and i just love the trouser look i feel like they would look so good with a belt and a classic you know just black cable knit or white cable knit oh that's just such a look such a classy look it's just so timeless so i definitely snagged these quality piece this is an anthropology pickup. I debated picking it up, but it is fall. So I feel like a sweater dress will do well. It's the brand Saturday, Sunday. It may even be a piece that I send into thread up if it comes down to it, but just a classic cowl neck sweater dress, size medium for fall. And then my favorite sweater, oh, I love these sweaters so much. Just the perfect vintage sweater. It's vintage Morona, which is actually just from Target, but it's seriously so quality. You would never know that it's from Target. It's 100% cotton and it's a size medium. And it's just the perfect sweater. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. So that's actually all for the haul today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video. If you aren't already following my Instagram at Created by Natalie, you definitely should be. And as always, if there's anything in the haul that sparks your interest, just reach out to me via DM on Instagram with either a screenshot or a thorough description of the item so we can work out a deal and get it to you. Thanks again. Bye.